Monohull sailboats commonly carry a small crew where exhaustion can take its toll very quickly in rough weather. That's why it's a good idea to place your pair anchor on deck if the weather starts to deteriorate. You may have to use it. When a sailor becomes too tired or the weather is unmanageable, it's time to deploy the pair anchor. But first, we need to stop the boat. We can do this one of two ways. One method is to power up the motor and set it in neutral, then drop or sheet in the head sail, followed by the main. With the engine powered slowly forward, we can keep the bow headed into the sea with the boat virtually stopped. A second method to stop the boat is to heave to. With a standard sloop rig, the main is heavily reefed with reduced sail forward. As we head into the wind, we can tack and backwind the jib and immediately position the rudder hard over to windward. The sloop quickly hoves to into a close hauled station. To heave to with the cutter, try a reefed mainsail. With the catch, start with your mizzen sheeted in flat. After your vessel lays hove to, reposition the rudder close to amidships with a slight angle to windward. Now that we are successfully stopped on the water, it's time to deploy the power anchor. The unit is deployed from the windward side to keep the vessel from drifting over it. A recovery line with a retrieval float is deployed first. Allow the boat to move away from the trip line and let it become taut before you drop the pair anchor into the water. As soon as the pair anchor is dropped into the water, snub the anchor line to inflate the canopy. Most vessels with pair anchors carry at least 10 feet of road for every foot of boat to prepare for extreme weather situations. In gale strength weather, pay out a third of your anchor road, and in heavy storms, pay out half of the line before you secure it to a cleat. Wait to see how your boat behaves. If the boat jerks or feels like it's being pulled through the waves, it's time to pay out more road until that unnatural motion stops. Once enough road is paid out, set your chafe protection to avoid line wear. Now that all your equipment is deployed, you can take a break and relax. Some sailboats, more specifically light displacement sailboats, can horse back and forth while secure to a pair anchor. The first step is to pay out more deployment road to see if that corrects the problem. If not, there are two simple tools we can choose from to stop this potential swing. A storm sail or bridle. These tools greatly reduce the chance that your boat will bounce around uncomfortably.